got a problem. Imagine that, the US having another problem to deal with. The FBI director had a little meeting the other day when he was away from just raiding Liberty safes. Are you licking carpet? Up, oh, it's been a while, dude. Say hello. You apologizing for scratching my eye last night, dude? Okay. So I'm gonna break this down because I think it's pretty interesting kind of how the tables have turned. Also, just for the gun controllers, we have active terrorist threats to our homeland, and you guys are still talking about taking weapons away from Americans. So, that's good. The reality is that the terrorism threat has been elevated throughout 2023, but the ongoing war in the Middle East has raised the threat of an attack against Americans in the United States to a whole nother level. Since the horrific terrorist attacks committed by Hamas against innocent people in Israel a few weeks ago, we've been working around the clock to support our partners there and to protect Americans here at home. Yes, working around the clock when they're not trying to, I don't know, let main mass shooters get away with it, like not arrest them the uh, six weeks before you guys paid him a visit after he threatened to shoot up a National Guard base? Okay, all right, well, you guys do a really good job. We assess that the actions of Hamas and its allies will serve as an inspiration, the likes of which we haven't seen since ISIS launched its so-called caliphate several years ago. In just the past few weeks, multiple foreign terrorist organizations have called for attacks against Americans and the West. Al-Qaeda issued its most specific call to attack the United States in the last five years. ISIS urged its followers to target Jewish communities in the United States and Europe. Hezbollah has publicly expressed its support for Hamas and threatened to attack U.S. interests in the Middle East. And we've seen an increase in attacks on U.S. military bases overseas carried out by militia groups backed by Iran. Wow, that's a lot of threats. A lot of threats. The most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. And I'm not saying this because I'm not a black HBCU. And uh, guess what, our president and our military, guess what they're worried about? They're worried about making sure that the entire outfit, not just one part of our military, the entire outfit, making sure that it's it's gay friendly or LGB, whatever the hell, friendly. So I just wanted to give everyone a quick update that the army finally recognizes me as a female. So this is one of my first days doing makeup and uniform. Got my nails painted this natural color and eventually I will be getting my hair done. So let me know what y'all think about my work makeup. Willie. Yeah. What's that? Well, it looks like a giant. Johnson. Also, they're getting up on their grandstand. Anytime we have some sort of mass shooting by a Looney Tune, and they say, well, you know what? We need to get rid of assault weapons because they're, they're weapons of war. Okay, well, we're gonna start using that term against you. If we have active terrorist threats from people who we're pretty much in a war with right now, wouldn't you want your citizens to be able to defend themselves from terrorists who are pretty much raging a war against us right now? Wouldn't you want that? Yeah, weapons of war for our citizens. Yes, thank you. Thank you for saying that and continuing to call these weapons weapons of war. Because now we need them for not just self-defense or for the Second Amendment, but also for war. The possibility of Americans having to defend themselves with a gun is increasing every single day. First, we had to worry about just criminals in general because crime is, I don't know, more popular than candy nowadays. Now, we have to worry about terrorists and people who have a, I don't know, religion where pretty much their first call to duty is to hurt anyone that's not the religion that they are. So that being said, especially with our woke government and DAs, if you have to defend yourself nowadays, you don't know if you're gonna be charged. That's why I recommend to everyone attorneys on retainer. In the event that you are arrested in a self-defense shooting, they cover you all the way through trial, they have bail coverage, they have a 24 seven hotline that you can call, you will get through to an attorney, that way you don't say anything or do anything that could essentially incriminate you. And the best part 
about them is that they're not one of these insurance companies, these concealed carry insurance companies where their hands are tied if you're charged with a criminal act or if you get convicted, you may have to pay all the money back to them. This is a law firm. You will be a client of this law firm. Other awesome part is this is cheaper than most of these other concealed carry insurance plans. So that being said, for our viewers are giving us $50 off when you sign up. There's gonna be a link in promo code below the video. Just put that promo code in when you check out. And there's also a discount for family plans. So protect yourself and your family with attorneys on retainer. On top of the homegrown violent extremist and domestic violent extremist threat, we also cannot and do not discount the possibility that Hamas or another foreign terrorist organization may exploit the current conflict to conduct attacks here on our own soil. So you're thinking that they're gonna to try to come here and do that. Now, how would they do that? If you're a terrorist in another country and you look at the US's current situation, how would you do that? Let's put ourselves in their shoes for a second if we can. I don't know, probably a fourth grader could figure this out. Just go ahead and type in your computer real quick. Biden and Harris immigration policies. Or maybe how easy is it to get in through the southern border in the US? Oh says it's really fucking easy. But you know what the weirdest part about this? It's not brought up. You're saying that we have active terrorist threats from Hamas and whoever else. And our border pretty much would let through an elephant without being seen. But no, they're, they're not worried about it. Yeah, let them in. We gotta treat everybody like a citizen. Everyone's welcome. It's gonna bite you guys in the ass. It's gonna bite you in the ass and then you're gonna go back and say, well, we weren't expecting it. We have kept our sights on Hamas and have multiple ongoing investigations into individuals affiliated with that foreign terrorist organization. Time and time again, the FBI has proven that they suck at their job. You're not that good at it because you guys are focused on covering stuff up, <coughs> Hunter Biden, and pretty much your first job is politics. That's, that's what you guys do. So what we would rather have is you guys to just fuck off about our guns. 